YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today, guys, we have done it. Well, typically yesterday we did it and we finished all the rewards for the event. So the Fusion and Exit Festival, we actually uh, cleared it all out, all the rewards, also for the Chocolis, the monster type event. So our matches were, were just phenomenal. Uh, a lot of good wins for this um, event just because of our deck. And yeah. Uh, for this event, we are using typically the Branded Dark World deck. Now, I could have just used the Branded deck, but it was like so um, one-sided. It's getting boring just playing Branded Espia. So I made it uh, a little bit more fun for this event. So the Branded Dark World was the go-to deck that I played so far. So I keep on going second for this deck because I it works perfectly well going second and by far most of my games I got my wins. So the only downside for this is I'm yet is I'm not using Maxi and I don't think I really need Maxi for this matter. So some notable cards that I used for this deck is having a copy of Sharon just to dump any copy of uh, any Dark World or possibly a copy of Tragedy. Now I know the effect is Send. A card to the graveyard so it won't trigger the effect of a dark world card but nevertheless what my purpose for sharing is is to have a, a, a level 4 monster on the field also uh, when this card is sent to the graveyard by the effect of branded fusion typically you can just go into another fusion summon and if ever I send a copy of king of the swamp to the graveyard with a with an effect of sharing I can immediately go into a copy of grappa dragon overlord as its uh, fusion summon so that is a Mirror Jade and a Grapha Overlord on the field after I activated the effect of Branded Fusion. Um, some other notable cards are typically some cards that I use for the Dark Worlds are Snow, the th uh, three copies of Snow, three copies of Genta, three copies of Rainbow, and two copies of Grapha Dragon Lord. Oh yeah, one copy of Lucent by the way. So that's basically it. For our Dark World cards or Spell and Traps, we are using two copies of Gates of the Dark World and we, and we just basically need two. Uh, one copy of Archives and one copy of our Ascension. Other than that, mostly we're running the same number of or the same cards for the Brandon Despia deck, which is one copy of Tragedy, two copies of Fallen of Albaz, and then two copies of Albert Jester of Despia. Uh, two copies of Cartesia, and then oh yeah, by the way, so Z Zalamander the Catalyzer is a good support for the Dark Worlds. Also, one copy of Bishal Drewsworm and one copy of Magnamut as our only engine for the Bishal archetype. We're using also the Theater of the Branded and a copy of Polarization from the King of the Swamp so that we can just polarize instantly if ever we we'll have the these cards on hand. Uh, two copies of Super Polarization and we have our good targets in, the, in our extra deck for this matter. So for our extra deck, we are running one copy of Mud Dragon of the Swamp, one copy of Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, and one copy of Prior Plant Dragon Stipelius. Uh, for our branded cards, we are running with Albion, the Branded Dragon, uh, Mirror Jade, Lobelion, our Guardian Carmera as well, a really good card. For our Despia Monsters, we're running Despian Quartus and a copy of Mirror Jade with, with of course, a copy of Preskenyon. These cards can be special summoned to the field with the help of Grand Gadul. So, those are the only um, fusion monsters that, that we'll have. For our XZ monsters, we are just running one copy of Raider Snipe and one copy of Arc Rebellion XZ's Dragon, just in case our back is against the wall. And with that, that is our deck profile, guys. Let's go towards the replays, and I'll see you guys later for the outro. Alright guys, so here we are with the replays, and I got three replays for you guys today. So starting off on our first game, our opponent is going first like any other. We're, go we're always going second. So we have one Genta, one Catalyzer, one copy of uh, Rainbow, and one copy of Cold Brigade with a copy of Theater of the Branded. So our opponent is going first, and we're dealing with Invoke Generators here. So in interesting for a deck. So Meltdown is going to be activated, searching a copy, searching a copy of Invo Invoker, and then with, with Invoker getting a copy of Invocation. Invocation and Alistair will special summon a copy of Kaliga to the field, which is a really good counter for the Dark Worlds, uh, letting us only activate one monster effect during that turn. Also, we can only attack once. Yeah, we can only attack once or one, one with one monster during that battle phase. Okay, so we'll use the effect of generator, generator boss stage to top it all off. And I think the face on card is a cross of the signator here. So with that, the, the field spell will spell summon the Vala and with the Vala on the field will trigger uh, special summoning the Chocolis, the heart from the graveyard. I could have used the call by the grave here, but yeah, it's okay. And then the 
Field spell is spell so summon the tokens. So with that, uh, my choice here is going for the Guardian Chimera just to pop the copy of Kaliga here. So use the effect of Theater, Normal Summoning our um, Genta. And with that, we can immediately go into uh, the pop. So popping the Kaliga and drawing two cards is our go-to plan. And with that, he's going to activate the effect of Har. Now for some reason, the Har just popped itself. I don't know why. Please tell me in the comment section below because I tried reading some cards. Or did I? But anyways, Genta will be activated, getting a copy of Gates. So Gates will be activated, sending the snow to the graveyard. It could have gone with Archives here, but luckily we, we draw into it from the effect of the Gates. Lucky enough, our luck is changing from this game, actually. So with that, banishing our copy of Genta, or a second copy of Genta, because we failed to use the effect of Genta on its first um, banish. So yeah, some locks never change. So Genta on the field. And with Archive sending the Graph of the Graveyard to pop the back row. And with Archives, lastly, we'll send the Call of the Graveyard to the Graveyard drawing two cards. So with that, it, yeah, it was a cross of the Signator here. So there we go. Now, uh, by the way, so getting a copy of the second gen the second Gates for the activation. Sending Snow to the Graveyard. I, now, I really like to get a copy of Ascension. Luckily, we draw into it from the copy of Gates. And with that, we can, uh, we'll typically just get another monster here. So I, I would have used the Grapha on hand, but instead I've misclicked and clicked on the Grapha on the field for the Fusion Summon. So nevertheless, it's perfectly fine because we already have game. So Ascension is going to be activated since we have Lucent, uh, discarding Lucent, and then, special, and then special summoning the Lucent to the field from its effect. So we have more than lethal after the after Lucent uh, made an attack, and that is game number one. All right, so for game number two, uh, we're still uh, we're still going second. We have one Catalyzer, one Drew Swarm, one copy of Grapha, one Gates, and one copy of Cobalt Grave. So our opponent is going first, like any other. So we're dealing with Dark Magicians here, anyways. For some reason, he's using Sacred Swords. Well, it's good with Dark Magician, but Yamata Dragon. Hello, Illusion of Chaos will search out a copy of uh, Rod. And with that, he's going to activate the Salvation, getting a copy of Eternal Soul. I think he already has a copy of, what you call this? Uh, yeah. No, he already has a copy of another Eternal Soul on hand, by the way. So he's going to get a copy of Circle and then activate the effect of Circle. So during our turn, we use the effect of Catalyzer, uh, dumping a copy of Graph at the Graveyard, popping the back row. He doesn't he doesn't want to use the effect of Soul here. But yeah, nevertheless, go for Drusor, banishing our Grapha, and normal summoning our Albaz. So Albaz on the field, going into the Lubellion. Now this is not really the best or optimized um, play here, but yeah, it works. It really works. So I did not know that he, he, he has a second copy of Eternal Soul, but nevertheless, it's perfectly fine. So there we go, Mirage into the field and deal a ton of damage, so around 7-1? 7-1, alright, 7-1, and with... 900 left to his life points. So during his turn, he's gonna go for set one card, and yeah, this is the second copy of Eternal Soul. So I was like, yeah, he's using a second copy of Eternal Soul. All right. So go for game here. So he was gonna use that, the effect of Eternal Soul. If he'll spell summon a, a monster in the field, he's gonna trigger the effect of Dark Magical Circle if he summons a Dark Magician. In case of that, I will just banish that Dark Magician and then go for game anyway, since, since his life points is just 900. Typically, that's the end of the game. Alright guys, so last game we have one copy of Snow, one copy of Catalyzer, one Magnemoth, one Drusorm, and lastly one copy of Grapha Dragon Lord. Our opponent is still going first because that is our plan. We're dealing with Cyber Dragons here, a, re a really strong deck, a really strong deck, but it's not really that good if you're going first anyways. You can't OTK. So he's gonna go for Nova on the field and a copy of Infinity, which is easy enough to uh, remove, by, by the way. So with two back rows, I think the one is the Overlord, the Trap Card Overlord thingy, and the one back row. I forgot this back row here. So we go for Catalyzer, sending um, our, our dumping our Grapha to the graveyard. Use the effect of Grapha, popping our Infinity. He's going to chain with the effect. Luckily, we have the Drew Swarm here and the Magnemoth. We'll use the effect of Magnemoth here. I could have gone with the, with the Drew Swarm so that we can use the, its effect later on. But nevertheless, it's perfectly fine. I know this is a, a minor misplay on my part, but there we go. Magnemoth is going to be activated and with the effect of Sharon sending three cards to the graveyard. Luckily, we dump accidentally a copy of Tragedy here. Our one of in our deck, so we got 
a hold of our Alibur afterwards. So Alibur Normal Summon, getting a copy of, of our Theater Branded Fusion, our Theater of the Branded, sorry, and use the Theater to summon our Guardian Gamera. Now I know the protection for Guardian Gamera won't be there because there's no polymerization in the graveyard, but nevertheless, it's perfectly fine. Our main goal here is to pop two cards in the field. So the overflow here, not the what chocolate I said earlier. So the over overflow will pop our Chimera here. And we, with our draw, we got a copy of King of the Swamp. So King of the Swamp, we really want it in the graveyard so we can use its effect later along the line if our Sharon is going to be sent to the graveyard. So he has no materials anyways. So it was the Cyberload Fusion. Okay, never mind. So there we go. Getting a copy of Polymerization so that we can have a follow-up by next turn. So go for battle. That's 1618. That's 3400 to his life points. And with that, we are getting a copy of Drew's Worm by the end of the, end of the turn. So it just boils down to what card he's actually summoned to the field, which of course he has Cyber El Tanin. So typically banishing cards to the graveyard, three three monsters by the way. So this effect states if this card is spread out summon, send all other face of monsters for, on the field to the graveyard. So a really good effect for this for our Sharon and our Drew Swarm. So what we'll need here, so you'll trigger the effect, use the effect of Drew Swarm banishing our tragedy so that tra tragedy will uh, use its effect. And with Drew Swarm to the field, you're just gonna uh, wipe it all out. So, so Drew Swarm will send the monster to the graveyard, Sharon will fuse, and then our tragedy will use its effect. And with that, solidifying our game. <laughs> so that is our last game, guys. Let's move towards the outro. All right, so those were the replays, and that is the deck profile for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this kind of content. Like and subscribe for more contents like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.